but basically I had spent uh, formative years in my youth post-college living and working in Taipei, Taiwan. And I had a torrid romance with a Chinese woman that I met from Singapore. And she used to play tapes, cassettes, of this strange and incredibly beautiful music. Uh, and they were these songs by the Chinese divas Zhou Xuan and Bai Guang, who were considered the, the top female vocalists of the day. And both of them were film stars in the early Shanghai scene. I guess Yan Vandenberg probably told you about it. And uh, then later I was asked to work up arrangements of two or three of these numbers for good friends' weddings, marrying his childhood sweetheart in Chinatown, New York City, and moved back there. So as a gift to him, I did three of these songs. And they proved so popular with the folks at the wedding that I recorded them and put them on an early album of mine and started playing them in my shows. People really adored them. Uh, a very great amalgam of Tin Pan Alley and Broadway styles and Western swing mixed with Chinese influences. Uh, then later, I recorded the whole album for a label run by a Chinese fellow in New York, but they went under. So it was like sitting with this record on the shelf. Started working a lot in France in the late part of the 90s. And uh, a local government-sponsored label, French label called Label Bleu, uh, saw one of my shows and they said, we really like to sign you. We only have a couple of uh, artists from the US. David Krakauer was one, Steve Coleman was the other. But we want to also sign you, and you have something for us. I said, aha, I have just the thing. I have this <laughs> album of Chinese pop, so I somehow got the masters back. And uh, they put this thing out. It came out right around 9-11. I was in Paris trying to promote the record. And uh, it received fabulous reviews when it was issued. And then I got them to put it out all over the world. So it had a shelf life for a while. And I played some shows here in Holland with instrumental versions, maybe. But uh, the label went under. <laughs> that name factory label had been connected with this great organization for many years. They reissued it last year. And then Leven Bertels of the Holland Festival, a great arts festival, who has uh, really been a strong supporter. I want to thank Leven for all of his enthusiasm and support over many years. He commissioned this expanded concert version. We went to Shanghai together last summer to audition two divas. And so we have the best singers and divas that we could find there. And so without further ado, we'll begin the program tonight. So I'm going to turn it over to, Max, to uh, Sally, who's going to tell you a little bit backstory about each song that we're Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you tonight? <laughs> I'm Sally Kwok. I was born in Taiwan and now live in Shanghai. Tonight, all the songs I'm going to bring to you are sent by two divas to the name that Gary just mentioned. One's called Bai Guang, one's called Zhou Xuan. Uh, these two divas were way back in the um, mid 20s in China. They were really, really famous and produced a lot of good songs. And mostly love songs are quite sad. The first song I'm going to perform for you is originally sent by Bai Guang in 1948, called Old Dreams. The story is telling about a lady who somewhat watched her youth faded away, but only left with her old dreams. <laughs> Thank you. 
your word too. Very important. And I'm using a lot of arcane tunings. This is one of them. I wanted to uh, do, I did a master class the other day for the uh, group of guitar students here. And this is a tuning that I was trying to explain that I came up with for this song. And uh, I couldn't give it a name. Uh,
Ben sana konuşmuyorum. 